In this video, we are going to do some problems on finding the partial derivative of a given function. Let us look at the first problem. It is a function of two variables. The two variables are x subscript 1 and x subscript 2. Given a function y equals 3x subscript 1 square plus x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 plus 4x subscript 2 square, we need to find their partial derivatives. In the process of finding the partial derivative of a function, all the rules of differentiation which is applicable to simple derivative shall also be applicable to partial derivative. The only difference is that partial derivative is used to find the derivative of a function of several independent variables. And when finding the partial derivative with respect to a particular independent variable, then all other independent variables in the function are held constant or all other independent variables are treated as a constant. Now in the solution, we will write down given a function y equals 3x subscript 1 square plus x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 plus 4x subscript 2 square. We need to find the partial derivatives with respect to x subscript 1 and x subscript 2. Let us first find the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1. The partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 denoted by f subscript x1 or del y by del x subscript 1 that is partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 1 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 3x subscript 1 square plus x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 plus 4x subscript 2 square. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 3x subscript 1 square plus x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 plus 4x subscript 2 square is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the first term plus the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the second term plus the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of the third term. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 3x subscript 1 square is equal to 3 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 square plus now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 x subscript 2 must be treated as a constant using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 is equal to x subscript 2 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 plus again since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 x subscript 2 must be treated as a constant using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of 4 x subscript 2 square is equal to 0 using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 square is equal to 2 x subscript 1 plus the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 1 of x subscript 1 is equal to 1 3 times 2 x subscript 1 is equal to 6 x subscript 1 plus x subscript 2 times 1 equals x subscript 2 let us now find the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 the partial derivative of y with respect to x subscript 2 denoted by f subscript x2 or del y by del x subscript 2 is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 3x subscript 1 square plus x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 plus 4x subscript 2 square. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 3x subscript 1 square plus x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 plus 4x subscript 2 square is equal to partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 
of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the second term plus partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of the third term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2, x subscript 1 will be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 3x subscript 1 square is equal to 0. Plus, again, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2, x subscript 1 will be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 1 times x subscript 2 is equal to x subscript 1 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 plus using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of 4 x subscript 2 square is equal to 4 times the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 square the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 is equal to 1 plus 4 using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to x subscript 2 of x subscript 2 square is equal to 2 x subscript 2 x subscript 1 times 1 equals x subscript 1 plus 4 times 2 x subscript 2 is equal to 8 subscript 2 therefore the partial derivative of the function with respect to x subscript 1 is equal to 6 x subscript 1 plus x subscript 2 and the partial derivative of the function with respect to x subscript 2 is equal to x subscript 1 plus 8 x subscript 2. Let us now look at a second problem. Given a function y equals 3u minus 2v by u square plus 3v, we need to find their partial derivatives. In the solution, we will write down given a function y equals 3u minus 2v by u square plus 3v. We can see that it is a function of two variables. The two variables are u and v. We need to find the partial derivatives with respect to u and v. Let us first find the partial derivative with respect to u. The partial derivative of y with respect to u denoted by f subscript u or del y by del u that is partial derivative of y with respect to u is equal to partial derivative with respect to u of 3u minus 2v by u square plus 3v. Using the quotient rule, the partial derivative with respect to u of the quotient of two functions is equal to the denominator times partial derivative with respect to u of the numerator minus the numerator times partial derivative with respect to u of the denominator divided by the denominator raised to the power 2. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to u of 3u minus 2v is equal to partial derivative with respect to u of the first term minus partial derivative with respect to u of the second term minus 3u minus 2v. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to u of u square plus 3v is equal to partial derivative with respect to u of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to u of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to u of 3u is equal to 3 times the partial derivative with respect to u of u minus. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to u, v will be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to u of 2v is equal to 0 minus 3u minus 2v. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to u of u square is equal to 2u. Plus, again, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to u, v will be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to u of 3v is equal to 0. The partial derivative with respect to u of u is equal to 1 minus 3u minus 2v 2u plus 0 is equal to 2u 3 times 1 equals 3 
minus 2 times 3 equals 6 u times u equals u square plus times minus equals minus 2 times 2 equals 4 u times v equals uv 3 times u square is equal to 3 u square plus 3 times 3v equals 9v minus times plus equals minus 6u square minus times minus equals plus 4uv 3u square minus 6u square is equal to minus 3u square plus 9v plus 4uv let us now find the partial derivative with respect to v the partial derivative of y with respect to v denoted by f subscript v or del y by del v that is partial derivative of y with respect to v is equal to partial derivative with respect to v of the function 3u minus 2v divided by u square plus 3v using the quotient rule the partial derivative with respect to v of the quotient of two functions is equal to the denominator times partial derivative with respect to v of the numerator minus the numerator times partial derivative with respect to v of the denominator divided by the denominator raised to the power 2. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to v of 3u minus 2v is equal to partial derivative with respect to v of the first term minus partial derivative with respect to v of the second term minus 3u minus 2v. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to v of u square plus 3v is equal to partial derivative with respect to v of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to v of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to v, u must be treated as a constant. Using the constant function rule, the partial derivative with respect to v of 3u is equal to 0 minus using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to v of 2v is equal to 2 times the partial derivative with respect to v of v minus 3u minus 2v again since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to v u must be treated as a constant using the constant function rule the partial derivative with respect to v of u square is equal to 0 plus using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to v of 3v is equal to 3 times the partial derivative with respect to v of v minus 2 the partial derivative with respect to v of v is equal to 1 the partial derivative with respect to v of v is equal to 1 minus 2 times 1 is equal to minus 2 minus 3u minus 2v 3 times 1 equals 3 minus times plus equals minus 2 times u square equals 2u square minus times plus equals minus 2 times 3v equals 6v minus 3 times 3u equals 9u minus 3 times 2v equals 6v let us clear the bracket minus times plus equals minus 9u minus times minus equals plus 6v minus 2u square minus 6v can be cancelled out with plus 6v we are left with minus 9u by taking minus u as common we are left with 2u plus 9 therefore the partial derivative with respect to u is equal to minus 3u square plus 9v plus 4uv divided by u square plus 3v holding square and the partial derivative with respect to v is equal to minus u within bracket 2u plus 9 by u square plus 3v holding square.